Good day, everyone. Welcome back to another video. Sorry I haven't posted in the past couple of days. My girlfriend and I have actually moved locations with our RV, and so it's been a little chaotic and just getting settled in. But we're back today with uh, a bit of a banger. Candace, from, uh, who's a member of Parliament, tweeted, we've sent another letter to the RCMP with new information about Justin Trudeau's illegal trip. And then she added a, uh, a retweet of a couple of different letters or one letter that was sent to the RCMP. <clears throat> it's fraud, man. Like, it's just plain out fraud. I don't know why he's being protected because he's the prime minister. I mean, what's what's the difference between uh, a regular person, right, going into a bank and robbing it versus the prime minister going into a bank and robbing it? Well, <laughs> when the prime minister does it, it's called uh, emergency side. Dear Commissioner, I'm writing about further new developments related to the dishonorable member Justin Trudeau's 2016 vacation on a private island, private island in the Bahamas owned by someone who had dealings with the government of Canada at the time. As you know, I wrote to you last week about Mr. Trudeau confirming that he did not have written approval to accept an extravagant luxury holiday from the head of the foundation lobbying the government of Canada. Uh, Mr. Trudeau, that is factually correct. You should be in jail for taking a bribe to a vacation in which you did not have permission to do. When you have a regular job, when you're a regular person, you have to, you can't just go on vacation. You can't just take company money and go on vacation. Apparently, Princess Trudeau is allowed to do that. <clears throat> I want to draw this matter to your attention, given the sensitive in, uh, and international investigations unit's assumption. Paragraph 64 of its analysis, the Commissioner Dawson had, in the course of her investigations, directed her mind to the provisions of Section 40. Okay, this is getting a little complicated here. I'm starting to quote sections. I just want to know if he's going to jail or not, man. That's all I want to know. Commissioner Dawson's interview with the Globe and Mail now reveals she had made no such interpretation. The RCMP's assumption is now littered with holes. It is simply not credible now to infer that she concluded mr trudeau's actions felt short of a criminal offense as for the other three justifications cited by deputy commissioner brennan that an investigation was not in the public's interest those matters have now been subsequently addressed this isn't a distraction this is a plea for justice when the prime minister when a member of parliament when a government official does something highly illegal and criminal they should be held to every standard that Canadians are held to, right? They're not exempt from the situation. Trudeau's not exempt. He's not a king. He doesn't. He's not God. He's not overruling power. And this, is, you're going to start to see a lot of stuff come up. I think later this year with lawsuits and investigations that open up around the Emergencies Act. You cannot just because it's like the police, right? The police have authority, right? They got guns. They got a badge, right? They are the law. No, you're held to a standard. You still have to follow the confines of the law, right? And we saw this at Rolling Thunder where the police or bylaw had like a, a interim rule book of things that you can or cannot do in and around Parliament and, and the public square and things like that. Well, the rules don't matter when there's laws in place. In order for you to actually enforce rules... They have to be laws. This is called how a freaking society functions. It's our charter of rights, okay? And this is the issue. And I don't really care about this. Your, your rights are being infringed on, right? You f have to feel like you're, you're forced to wear a mask. You're forced to comply with the mandates. Well, there's actual laws that govern a country. And if those laws are broken, well, so someone's going to jail. You can't just do that. The same way I can't just go and commit a crime, right? Well, it's the interim solution. I'm not getting paid for another two weeks. I needed money, so I just walked into the bank and took it. You can't do that. It doesn't matter if you're a regular Canadian citizen or if you're a member of parliament or even if you're the prime minister, right? You're not exempt from the law. And we're going to see more and more investigations open up against uh, Justina Trudeau. And um, it, you know, hopefully will fall in favor of justice. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Sorry? I thought I was gonna make it through this, but I know it hurts. Emotional damage!